Hey guys. So, as you can see, we're back in front of the Chinese theater. I haven't really done that much between this session and last session. I mean, I know I talked about looking some stuff up, and I did. And um, we're going to take another crack at this gargoyle. Apparently, if you just keep him talking, eventually you can sort of uh, get some sort of headway with having him talk to you rather than fight you. So we'll give this another go. Buddy. Because there is no chance in hell that I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Like... Yeah, <laughs> there's not a chance. Hey, my hand. Alright, man, hold on. I just want to talk. Wait, I come in peace. I have an offer. Arthur, what offer? Yet another lie. He hopes to control me, to enslave me, just as my master before him. First he sends his underlings to destroy me, and now he wants to make peace. No! Curse him! Curse you all! Here we go. Believe me, he doesn't want to control you. He needs your protection. Let's see. Isaac doesn't need another servant. He needs an ally against the Camarilla. Camarilla. What means this Camarilla? Let's see. They're kindred who want to rule over other kindred. Isaac fights against them. Yes, he fights against those that made you as well. The longer we talk to him, the less he sounds scary and the more he sounds like Yoda. Um... Isaac needs your help to eradicate their curse once and for all. Yes, I will fight alongside this Abrams and help him in his battle against this Camarilla. Camarilla! But I swear to fight at his side. Awesome. Good to hear it. Thank you. Yes. Now lead me. This theater is my domain, and I seek the peace of solitude. Cool, thanks, buddy. I'm just, uh... You know what? I'll just come back later. I'm looking for a tape, but I'll just go turn this quest in first, and maybe you won't be standing there anymore. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I feel kind of sheepish having to look that up, but you have to just basically lie straight to his face and tell him that Isaac's going to straight-up attack the Camarilla, which isn't entirely true. But it also isn't entirely wrong, because um, Hollywood is an anarch state, or I mean, I guess a non-Camarilla state more than that. So, Evening. oh, the gargoyle! I convinced him. A gargoyle serving in the defense of Hollywood. <laughs> Exceptional. I'm sure it'll come as quite a surprise to the first shock troop that crosses the city line. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. Yeah, I've got nothing against the Anarchs, man. I'd like to hope so. Well. Right. Thanks, buddy. Cool. So now the theater... I'm still going to search around there. Um, I don't think there's much more in the theater than in that one combat room, but we'll try. 
hey, Masquerade Redemption, I'm back to five strikes before I lose the game again. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I think I might have, I might have still have one against me because of the time I ate the waitress. I'm not entirely sure on the timeline regarding the Chinese restaurant. It's definitely something. Hey, man, um, I'm just gonna go, is, is this cool if I just chill here for a little bit? I need to go and look around a little bit for some stuff. There's nothing in here, man. None of these doors work. Zoop. Oh, that door works. Oh, cool. So if I were a videotape, I would be in the projection room. Um, so that's where I'm gonna try and look. That would be up there, and I don't know how to get up there. Wait a minute, what are you? Are you kidding? What, what videotape is this? I'm super excited. Uh, oops, that's not how you do it. Um, videotape. Tap Hotel. I can't believe I managed to logic a puzzle. Like, that's so cool. I mean, the consistency in this game is pretty exciting. Um, I will leave and never come back. And have a good time, buddy. Um, awesome. All right, so... Yes! <laughs> I was afraid I was going to have to look that up, too. So, we'll see. Um, let's see. Okay, log. Put the tape in your mailbox and check back. All right. In that case, I'm going to go back to my haven in um, Santa Monica because that's the one closest to the taxi route, I guess, and all of that other stuff. Also, as we established previously, I'm not particularly clear as to where my downtown Abbey hideout is. So we'll just go back to Santa Monica. I know I have one. It's like in the Sunrise or Sunset Hotel. But like... I don't know. Hopefully, with my luck, taking the tape to this place instead of the other one will glitch it and cause some sort of problems. Who knows? It also turns out, I did a little bit of research regarding the girl in the bar that I was having glitches with. Um, not really sure, but apparently there is a quest associated with her, but it doesn't work very frequently. Like, um, there are problems with her uh, dialogue tree that don't, it doesn't always work. And even it was even actually broken in some of the versions of the unofficial patch that I have, like the patch that I'm playing with um, to make this game actually function. So um, I'm not quite sure. We can always check back with her again and see, but I'm not real sure if we're going to get any luck. And I just passed my mailbox while I was talking. Um, mailbox. Tape. Give. That's it, right? I just go like this. I'm not very clear how this dead drop actually functions. Yeah, I'm a vampire. Dead drop. Uh, okay, is it gone? Okay, it's gone. Go check our email. What? What? Is that... That's what we did this quest for? There better be something else. Um... Three. Um... Cool. Thank you. Delete. Uh, four. Join the film, boss. But I think I really let myself go over the years. All right, it seems to be your bag. So you know the deal. You know that Torridor and Vesuvius, Miss Valour? Back when she was breathing, it was like Miss Anything for a, for 300. And I got a poster. We'll trade for revealing photo I saw on Haunted LA. What? 
We'll trade for a revealing photo I saw. Wait. <sighs> what kind of photo are you talking about, email? Um, delete. Delete. That one I haven't done yet. That one I haven't done yet. Dubious warning. All right. I I don't know how I feel about this quest. I actually, I guess Creepy Gary that lives in the basement would make pinup posters of the different vampire girls around town, but it sort of cheapens them a little bit uh, to have creepy, sad clown poster in my bedroom. I honestly don't know. I'm pretty sure that, like, teenage Ben, who is super into this game, would be, like, super jacked about it, but... I'm just kind of, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to make a big stink. And if we can find that photo, great. Um, Haunted LA. Haunted LA. Where would Haunted LA be? I can think of that show that they were trying to film in the, in Pisha's basement, the pl the fake bloody face eating girl. Yeah. Um, I'm not going back to the Warren. Uh, I at the library. I guess. I guess night at the library might be it. Um, let's just check here quick. Um, there, my persuasion is now ten. Um, so I'm as good at seduction as I can get, and I'm as good at persuasion as I can get. So that's definitely something. Um, okay. Huh. Um, I suppose downtown library is next on our to-do list. I, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know really what I'm doing anymore, just side quests. Hmm. And I really don't plan on um, doing every side quest, just the ones that I bump into. I know that there's going to be some that I'm going to miss. Um, and I mean, there's there's even some that I did when I played this game the first time that I've missed, but it's not too many. I'm trying to do a pretty complete playthrough, but there's no reason for me to waste hours and hours of your lives uh, doing quests I can't figure out. Downtown, Chinatown, where... Uh, the downtown library. Okay. Hmm. I like how it's all facts about Giovanni's now. They're just like, hey, remember that story quest you're supposed to do? You should probably do that. Now, the library is accessible through the sewers, so says my quest. So I think that's what I'll do. However, since I'm here, I'm going to poke around this house real quick just to see if there's a photograph from Haunted L.A., in here because if there is this would be the place for it and since we had such a great success with logic last time I'm gonna actually think about that right now da -da -da. Like here's a computer that's all scrambly da -da -da -da. here's a stairway that goes somewhere um, man, I remember this place was really spooky the first time I came through here. Now that I know it's just Pisha hanging out in the basement, it's really not that scary. There's that. The murder hole. Um, I'm gonna go back and try going upstairs. I don't... I probably did that last time I was here, but... Yeah, junk. Okay. Well, let's head down into the basement then see if there's any pictures down there because i mean that's where those people's poor bodies ended up oh come on don't close the thing on my torso come on go down game please we've done this so many times oh oh i see what's happening i'm getting stuck on a I'm getting stuck on the ladder 
Can we please? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Having a terrible time today. Good grief. Hey, uh... Is there a photograph down here somewhere that you want to talk yes. about? Um... Is he preoccupied? Death is the ultimate dilemma, an integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is born on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. That's neat. Can I have another question? Yes. Uh, never mind. All right, so you don't know anything about the photo, if there is such a thing. And I guess, despite this being where the cast of that show died, they didn't bring anything. Oh, wait. I distinctly remember the Haunted America guy having a, an apartment down here somewhere. You remember what I'm talking about, guys? I, I mean, obviously you can't answer, but what... Well, I'll take the morphine. That's fine. I can sell that later. Trips looking for his hookup. All right. Well, I don't have to poke around here anymore. This is kind of stupid. Um, let's crawl back up and out the way we came. Um, yeah, I think that'll be fine. All right. I'm going to go back up. Please work better this time. Thank you. Nice. All right. Things are good. So that was a wasted stop. So I apologize for that, but it was worth a trot. I'm pretty sure that's where that, you know, that show was, but, um, gosh, I wish I remembered what, um, what apartment building that guy stayed in. I wonder if I can go back and watch footage from my own show just to see. Um, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, there's the hotel again. Where's the, where's that apartment building? Sunrise something. It's not any further down there. This is all that's down there is last call. Or, yeah, whatever, but it's gotta be here somewhere. What in the world is this place? I mean, this isn't anything, is it? It's a house. 508. Thaumaturgical creatures. This is a Torador house, I would have. Not a Torador house. What the fuck? Yeah, you. I remember you. What's up? Uh, do you have a few minutes? I have a few questions. Um, nothing, I'm good. None of that stuff really piques my interest. Um, never mind. There. What's upstairs? This, see, this looks like that room, the, the upstairs room from Doctor Who. Does anybody remember that? God, that was, that was a really creepy episode. The guy that lives upstairs. Um, wait, is that Doctor Who? What is that? I really don't remember. God, I'm losing my mind. All right, and that boarded up building is where the plague bearers came from. And this is Pish's place. And this is LaCroix Tower. You can tell because it extends forever into the sky. Um... There's the parking garage that does me no good. Oh, here we go. We're getting toward the right part of town. Hey, I could go buy guns or something, but I really don't need to do that. Oh, uh, let's go say hi, just because he's a friend. Hey, what's up, man? My man. I need to do some shopping. Oh, a sniper rifle. I cannot afford that. Okay. Well, I'm going to sell you some stuff, buddy. Sell. Sell. 
so. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, you just glitch and talk a lot while you're standing there. He's got dinosaur eggs, and he's just really, really pleased to share it with you. He just really wants you to know about his dinosaur eggs. Yes, I thought, see, the hotel is one, and this place. I'm pretty sure this is my apartment building, but I'm not positive. So let's see. Let's look at the names here. Oh, God, if there's still blood everywhere from me and the security guard going at it. Um, hey, man, I'm going to go down here. Don't get mad. I know, I know, I'm only employees are supposed to go down here, but I distinctly remember there being a creepy computer terminal, yep, that I can use to check out the other tenants. Mulligan. Yeah, Simon Mulligan, he's on TV. Three. Virgil Welch. Uh, four. I think Simon Milligan is our is our guy. Um So, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that that's what we're going to do. We're going to climb up to the first floor. I'm pretty sure we want to go up here and there. Yeah, exactly. Let's check this place out because this is, this is number two, isn't it? I, I think I want number one. Hmm. <sighs> Yep, let's go to floor number one, please. Thank you. I lied to the elevator. I pushed the button saying going up, but then I made the elevator go down. Yeah, I've been here. You can tell because this stuff is thrown on the camera. The camera is thrown on the table, is what I mean. And this is, yeah, so let's look around here. Maybe I'll get lucky and somewhere in here, our friend has that photograph that our buddy wants. Show 17. Um, show 17, no space. <laughs> um, hospital horror. Um, dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. Um, show 18. Cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors. Okay. Um, home. Email? Maybe there's... Holy shit, you suck. Okay. Well, that didn't help us any. Um, what are these little things on the ground? Oh, shot glasses. Facts? There's not going to be anything in here, is there? Need furniture? Shop at Sofa King. Sofa King, great. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I guess the cemetery is a place to check. Honestly, I can head back to the Warren and see... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a double, a double go of it. I will check through the cemetery... And I will go down through the, the the catacombs to back to the Nosferatu hideout. Because if that's what they mean by the Warren, Warren, I don't have a problem looking around there. But I really don't want to go through the dungeon part of the Warren. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is going on? Oh, God, the police still want me. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh, man. Wow, I completely forgot. I just... Oh. <laughs> I had... Uh, okay. Well, crap. Alright, um, that complicates things a little bit, but the plan remains the same. 
We're going to head back to the town and see what we can find out. So yeah, I'm just going to hang out until the cops don't want me anymore. I'm not really sure how long that will take. I'm hoping it won't take very long. Because I would very much like them to give up so that I can go on about my business. Hey, thanks, police. All right. Um, let's see. A photograph. A photograph. So we were at the scene of their last filmed show, which was the one with Pisha, because nobody survived. Zoop. But... We were at his apartment, and I didn't find anything in his apartment. I'm just going to give the cops a wide berth here. I'm actually going to go back into my haven for a little bit. Um, I'm really... Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, Milligan. That was the guy that we were supposed to... Supposed to be looking after, so... Let's head up to the haven. Hmm. Oh, I don't think this is my house, is it? No, this is not my house. Yeah, my bad. I think I went to the wrong one. Whose house is this? This was the slobby guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, and there is still nothing here. There's a, a sweet guitar. Take, oh, it's a bass guitar. A sweet bass guitar. Eh, alright. Um, well, shoot. Let's go up. To floor three. I don't know why I thought our mine was on floor two. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> yes, yes. Wait, what? What is going on? Which one of is which one of these houses is mine? I'm having a terrible time. Is it four? Three was that girl's house. Yeah, okay, yeah, I went to the wrong one again. My bad. Okay, thank goodness there's no Heather. Um, okay. So let's just think about this. I'm going to stop cruising around here for a minute. I'm going to think... Sit down at my computer, maybe. Take a crack at this. So, cheat codes. Haunted LA. That's that. That's Milligan's T. That's Milligan's TV show. That should be what I'm looking for. I must have just missed something as an apartment, but. I don't really think that that's right. Um, I haven't done that. I thought I did that quest so long ago that I really don't know what to think about. Um, I don't have anywhere that I've been stashing any equipment. Oh, wait. I do have this chest. I didn't put it in there, did I? Are you fucking kidding me? Wonder which one of these photos it is. Is it? Do you think it's either of these? I forgot putting this stuff in here. A blurry photo of what looks like to be an Osferatu. I'm going to assume that's the one he wants. Um, I'm going to put this other stupid shit in here. But don't let me forget that this is all here. Great. Thermotragical creatures. Um, and I can't even use that book. <sighs> okay. That was a huge waste of my time and your time and everyone's time. But at least this story has a happy ending. Let's hope that that's the one he was talking about. We'll take a quick ride in the elevator down to the lobby and see. I'll stash it in my mailbox and um, we'll see. Honestly, I also didn't see that poster in my house. So maybe I don't have to look at them if they're not in this house. Maybe I'm crashing the game by swapping back and forth between mailboxes. Dude, just calm down. There. The best part about this is there is no confirmation that you did anything right. 
Oh, nope, four. I want four. Dang it. Um, God. All right. That's three. That's three. Get back on. Go up. There we go. All right. Go check our email again. Maybe the blurry picture of a Nosferatu isn't the right picture. Maybe he wants the picture of the smiling girl. Maybe he wants neither of those. Or maybe I actually have to leave the area for that to trigger. Oh, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to not worry about it. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We're a little short compared to where we were earlier, but I think I've done enough wandering around for one day. I will see you guys soon, and I promise someday soon we'll attack the main quest and get back on track.